black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. Well, there's whole roast chicken in this hobo's kitchen. Whole roast chicken, whole roast chicken. There's whole roast chicken in this hobo's kitchen. Whole roast chicken, whole roast chicken, yeah. All right, guys, today we're gonna do whole roast chicken. Get yourself a nice deep pan, get your uh, birdie in there. Take your butter, do not be afraid, you gotta get messy. Make sure your hands are clean, just freshly washed. Boom, let's lather this bitch up. You get in the crevices, give this guy a deep tissue massage. Really work out the kinks, feel around, feel where he's tight, or she, depending, I don't know, I'm not really sure. Get under the wings, all on the thighs. And we're gonna butter this because it's gonna help with the crust, it's gonna help with the flavor, and it's gonna also allow the seasoning that I'm gonna add onto it to stick. All right, so you guys can really season it any way you want. It could be salt and pepper, fresh rosemary, whatever you want, whatever your flavors want to be. I just have this poultry seasoning, which is a blend like designed obviously for poultry, chicken, things like that. So I'm just gonna get some on here, rub it in a little bit. I'm also gonna go ahead and add some cayenne and paprika because I want a little bit of heat. There you go, simple as that, done. Next I'm gonna allow this guy to sit in a pool of his Ancestors juices. We got a little chicken broth here. It's gonna put that in the bottom of the pan because that is gonna keep things moist and create flavor. And we could even make a gravy later, probably, I think. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go in with our mirepoix or the holy trinity, as they might call it in French. It's mirepoix in French cooking. Carrots, celery, onions. Those are like the three base foundations of a lot of cooking dishes. So, this is just flavor enhancers and they all just work really well together. Also, I'm gonna add potato into this because potato roast potatoes are fucking delicious so onion in each corner throw these guys in as such a couple potatoes everywhere just spread everything out evenly beautiful beautiful color you guys might think this is cooking but honestly i don't even consider this cooking really this is so easy These, this to make this dish is so absolutely simple it's the classic for a reason right simplicity at the end of the day, it always creates the best dishes. And this is so simple, but it's gonna be so deliciously flavorful and just so enjoyable. I'm super jacked. All right, let's pop her in the oven. Just before we go in the oven, I gotta show you this, guys. Like, look at that beauty. Look at those colors. Oh, it's amazing. It's gonna roast off and cook up and get crispy and the skin and those potatoes and celery and carrots and onions are gonna be so deliciously flavorful. You got the oven going at 450. So the method with this is you're gonna put it in at 450 and you're gonna leave that there for about 15 minutes. That's gonna allow that skin to get like a nice crisp. And then we're gonna knock it down to 350 and then we're gonna cook it off. This guy is beautiful, big old delicious guy for about an hour and maybe 10 to 20 minutes. All right, let's open up the sauna and see how this guy's doing. We're at about halfway now. Nice, the seasoning's kind of crusting on there. Nice, vegetables are cooking down. Eventually get some nice browning on them, a little caramelization sort of thing. And this guy has a ways yet to go, maybe another 40 minutes or so. Peace. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put it on like a high, mid-high heat, and I'm just gonna add some flour in. Gradually, just add as you go, and it'll thicken up and turn into a gravy. You might have to tweak it with spices or seasoning whatever you want maybe a little more butter or something like that but really you just have to add flour to it to make it thicken up there you go guys once the flour is in just add it for your liking for your thickness right now it's a little bit runny but it's actually almost perfect in my opinion nice bubbling up and there you got a gravy and there we have it the final product look at that beautifulness Nice and crispy skin. Those veggies are blistered, charred, whatever you want to call it. They're tender, soft. This right here, guys, this is what it's all about. This is grandma's house type shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's go in for a closer look. I will see you guys at the table. I'm not going to lie. You can tell by the rosiness on my cheeks. Oh, that actually feels so good on my hot cheeks right now. Oh man, that's like cucumbers on the eyes, but vodka on the vodka cheeks. I've always wanted to do a whole roasted chicken. I've seen it on YouTube a bunch of times. I think it's a challenge. It's like uh, you got to do it in X amount of time. I saw Quan Tran did it in like under eight minutes or whatever. I'm not going to go that intense. I'm not trying to smash an entire chicken. 
Uh, if I do, that's cool. If I don't, so be it. I'm just gonna show you guys how I like to do it. So let's get straight to it. Right here is a sauce spread. Very crucial to me. The way that I like to do it, I like to take my chicken, peel it off, and put it in little lettuce wraps. You might be able to see some lettuce on the screen right now. And then I'm gonna try a bunch of different sauces with it and just kind of see what's the best. I've got obviously the OG homemade gravy. This guy's crispy, hot, ready to roll, and then all these delicious vegetables that have been, you know, blistered, cooked down, nice and tender, soft, beautiful. With the power of editing, lettuce has appeared. Hello, lettuce. How are you? Let us pray. Oh my God, I love you for this food. Okay, this is what I like to do with the roast chickens. I like to get savage. From here, you can just start pulling. Take one of these guys and just throw that chicken in and then sauce it as as you desire. Right now, my traditional favorite thing is just chicken, lettuce, and a little bit of hot sauce. This is Louisiana. You can do it Tabasco, Frank's, whatever you want. Oh my God. Mmm. So tender. This is so crispy, crunchy, fresh, amazing. So as you guys saw, I have the gravy. I'm going to try dipping it in that. Um, I have this honey mustard from uh, Popeye's, actually. The fig balsamic. I got ranch. And barbecue. We're gonna do a little sauce shootout. These veggies on that low and slow with the crisp, the caramelization. Mm, a sweet onion. Unbelievable. Okay, chunk of chicken going in the lettuce wrap. A little more actually, let's make it fat. Okay, I'm gonna start the sauce shootout. I already had one with the hot sauce, that's my favorite. Just very simple, basic. It was really good. This time around, I'm gonna go with some of the gravy. The gravy is, it's next of kin. I ain't even joking, guys. This is some next level shit right now. That gravy is amazing. Mmm. Mmm, so savory. piece of celery here tender as fuck oh my fuck carrot okay sweetness I don't really love roast carrots as much as everything else but I'll fuck with it uh, the gravy wrap was good but now I'm gonna move on to like this uh, this mustard shit from Popeye's it's a chicken place, so I would have to assume that's going to be great. Mm. Very nice. Has like a horseradishy sort of kick to it. for ranch I love ranch hidden valley all day hidden right in that valley oh drip wow that's incredible oh my god The richness of the ranch, the fat content. Unbelievable. Oh my God. I think I might have to do a ranch with a little bit of hot sauce. But before that, we still have a few sauces to try. So pull some more of the chicken, get that skin in there. Skin is flavor. On this one, we're going barbecue. It's 
just craft original barbecue. I love this stuff. Tang. That's pretty good. That's tight. So far, the ranch I think is kind of the best, but that's uh, that's a close second. I guess this is the last sauce now. This uh, balsamic fig vinaigrette. It's more uh, sweet, sweet and vinegar. really nice it's more of a savage mukbang video given this scenario slash I haven't eaten all day I'm absolutely starving right now which you can tell because I'm just crushing no holds barred don't give a fuck I got shit I could talk about, but right now this food is just doing it for me. So I'm going to make a, a last one. It's going to be, I'm going to take like a piece of celery. It's going to be more of the roast, a roast wrap, we'll call it. Celery, maybe a little potato action, a little bit of this gravy on. Turn it into a little lettuce burger, a little lettuce chicken burger. <laughs> mm. All those flavors coming together. Just these onions are incredible. I'm so captivated by this food right now. There's things I want to talk to you guys about, but like... The food is just taking priority. Mm. Do another wing. Did you see that? Clean. Just slides right off. Okay, this is one that's playing on my mind. I want to do chicken plus ranch. Plus hot sauce. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the one. When I tasted the ranch one, I knew if I added hot sauce, it was going to just take it to that new level. I'm at the point where I think I gotta call this video because I'm getting pretty full. And there's potential that I might still go out drinking after this. So I don't wanna be like too crushed, you know what I mean? With food. But this is fairly light eating in a way. Just the meat and the lettuce. Doesn't have me feeling too dead. I hope you guys enjoyed this video the cooking segment, eating, etc. A little different. I didn't really go into topics or talk about anything too serious. I was more like engulfed in the food, which I guess is what mukbang is supposed to be about. So 
Maybe it's a good little change of pace. I don't know. But regardless, you guys know that in future videos and down the line, you know, I've always got stuff I need to talk about. <clears throat> Stories and opinions, etc. I'm going to end this guy off with a strictly ranch. Ranch chicken banana bolt. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh my god. Mm. Maybe just the plain ranch is my favorite. I don't know. Mm. Oh my god. So good. Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed the savagery. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, eat good, live well, stay true.